Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm really excited to bring you this hands-on drawing test with the Surface Pro X. Now, I was um, very fortunate. I've been looking around for a long time trying to figure out where to test this device out because there's a lot of questions that I have, and I know there's a lot of questions that a lot of you have as well. So in this test, I focused primarily on uh, how it draws, uh, what the new pen feels like, the storage inside of the keyboard, the connectors in between those two things, and uh, you'll see a lot of that right here. So we're going to do our first test uh, here in OneNote. You can see the keyboard. It was not super easy to take the pen out, which um, I suppose wasn't really surprising, and I'm sure you kind of get used to that feel. See, both those pens are magnetic, and thankfully, the uh, slim pen, while it was a bit slimmer than I anticipated, and the button's a little bit more raised than on the uh, last generation Surface Pen, uh, it still felt pretty good to hold. So here we are inside the Surface app, and uh, in this first test, you can see actually that the buttons get stuck a little bit here. And this happened a couple times, and I'm assuming this is one of those little bugs that they're going to have to work out with Windows on ARM that they haven't gotten figured out yet. Not like uh, the regular Windows on Intel has never had a bug or two, but just a little glitch here right in the beginning. So here's the Surface Pro 7. And we're going to do uh, the same test with the new Slim Pen on the Surface Pro 7, and yes, it is compatible, and it seems to perform um, as, as close to exactly the same as I can tell. I can't see or notice any uh, differences between uh, the current pen and the slim pen. And you can see here those lines um, are pretty similar, and it looks like the Surface slim pen is a little better, but I think is actually just how I was drawing. I felt off on those ones. So here we are now on the Surface Pro X doing the same tests and the slim pen, and then we have the current pen. And again, I felt like it was very, very close. Uh, I want to say that the slim pen felt slightly better, but I, I couldn't really confirm that one way or the other. And you notice, uh, surprisingly, both the slim pen and the uh, current Surface Pen mag magnetically attached to the side, which was a big question I had, uh, is every single pen that I purchased no longer going to be an option. And nope, they will work with the Surface Pro X. Uh, the magnet on the side is decent, but it's not as strong as it is on the Surface Pro uh, 7 or the Surface Pro 6. Uh, you notice it does stay on pretty well. It's not going to fall off unless you are shaking it pretty hard. When you have the Surface Pro X plugged in, it, you can't put the, um, the slim pen on the side, but you can put it on the back, which is pretty cool. And you can see here the um, slim pen in OneNote in dark mode, which is my favorite way to use OneNote. Uh, again, using both these uh, different stylus, the slim one and the current one. Uh, it seems again to be performing almost identically. Uh, we're going to test it again here uh, in the Surface app with the pen pressure adjusted to three, which is my preference for the Surface stylus. And you can see it works exactly like it did on the Surface Pro 6. Really nice um, gradients. You can do light pressure uh, really easily with it set to three. And I felt like they performed uh, very, very similarly. So the keyboard feels nice. Uh, the connection between the Pro 7 and the Surface Pro X keyboard does not work. They're actually reverse magnetically polarized, so it moves on its own away from the uh, snap-in ports. Uh, they look like they would fit, like they're the same distance, but it looks like um, they on purpose made them not fit. So I tested the uh, store and checking to see if all of the apps were there and they are uh, filtered. So you cannot install apps that won't uh, work with the operating system. The pen tool did not load. It installed that did not load. Um, concepts, uh, you'll see right over here, the line is drawing off to the side. So it's, it's not uh, tracking correctly underneath the 
uh, pen position sketchable did work and it worked great. Uh, no problems, it was very smooth. Um, all the pen pressure and everything felt exactly like you would expect um, on any other device. Uh, overall, the machine felt pretty snappy, um, not as fast as the Surface Pro 7 uh, or the Surface Pro 6 that I have, but I only had a very limited uh, number of different things to test this with, so it's a little bit uh, jaded. All right, that's it. If you guys found any of this information useful, please subscribe and hit the notification icon if you want to be kept uh, in the loop on new information on the Surface Pro X, then please subscribe. Thanks for watching.